Hello my lovelies, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just chilling on the sofa. I've been working at my desk today, but just, I feel like having a cozy one. So it's quarter to four and I've still got some editing to do. Sat tucked in my blanket with my Mac right in front of me on a chair, keypad and mouse, and we're good to go. I also just got this in the post, which I would turn around but you'll see my address. It's just a little packet from Snapfish, which is like one of those online photo printing companies. So I just printed out a bunch of new photos to go in the baby journal. And also we have like a family album that we just print out photos of mainly me, Nate, and the two pets. And sometimes there'll be like random ones of other family, but it's mainly just like our, our little family that we're growing. <laughs> And yeah, I've not updated that in like over a year, so printed out a ton to go in there. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into that later, but doing some editing first in this cozy little setup. I actually ended the last vlog about an hour ago, and same situation as what I said then. I am a little bit congested and bunged up because I went in the sea last night, and I think I've just given myself a bit of a cold, but I'm okay. I wonder if I can prop you up down here. I literally was talking about it about an hour ago and I can't even remember what I told you so just to refresh on the whole dentist thing I need to go to the dentist. I tried calling a bunch of places and they were all just saying like you'll have to join our waiting list or whatever whatever so I ended up emailing a bunch of them saying like how long is your waiting list I'm pregnant and I'm starting to no notice some gum issues. And like, I think I've sent four emails out and three already have come back saying either the waiting list is so long that they can't predict how long it'll be or they're not even taking any more names on the waiting list. list. So it's been really not helpful. Um, so I don't really know what to do. Like, it's just really not good. So yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna have to keep you posted on that. Really not ideal. <laughs> kind of getting dark outside but I really want to do my photos so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film because I'm having to kind of sit really awkwardly so that there's decent light on me <laughs> but I thought I'd at least show you some of the stuff we've got the first time I printed out a bunch of photos for the pregnancy album I just went to I think it was a Tesco or some sort of supermarket and they have like the little machines that print it there and then, which is really, really good, but it's definitely a lot more expensive, I didn't realize. I think I printed out about 30 photos at the most. Some of the photos had like two or four images on them. So it was like less than 20 actual like full things, if that makes any sense. And that came to like eight pounds, I think, which I thought was really good. But then when you look online, it's not the best. I got all of these. I don't know if you can see. Like, I have no idea. This is just an absolute ton of photos for six pounds, I think. <laughs> like cheaper than the other one. It's just insane. So I've got a bunch of my first trimester bump photos. Then we've also just got a bunch of other photos from the first trimester because there's like a first trimester photos section which is just cute to show like what you've got up to. And then we've just got a bunch of like random single photos which is for our little family album. It's literally me and Willow asleep next to each other like really non-photogenic just everyday photos that we just want to savour but yeah I'm gonna get sticking these into the albums or also if you want to know our little family album I feel like the next ones we get I might just get really minimal ones but I've got this really cool bamboo and banana leaf one it's like handmade it's all really organic materials it's just really cool and it's the kind of thing Nate would like trying to just store a bunch of photos from our whole relationship because it's just really nice to look back on like the everyday kind of moments so yeah
recording. You just remember what your old pal said. You got a friend in me. photos you can't actually get loads of photos in this album and I don't really think that through I'm like coming to the end of this book and thinking like I've still got quite a lot of photos left to put in it I don't know if I'm gonna have like a weird amount left like I just don't know where it's gonna cut off to then move to the second family album literally turning to the last page now this is the last one we've got four images left and I've put all of these photos in like chronological order right this is absolutely no um setup like this is how it's happened so the last four pages of this album me and Willow me and Nate both photos pregnant and didn't know and then the last image again pregnant didn't know the next photo which will be the first photo in the next album the pregnancy test <laughs> like if that is not some sort of like metaphor for a new chapter and a new book starting I don't know what it is like literally the next images pregnancy test me telling Nate me and Nate on my birthday celebrations telling my mum that I'm pregnant <laughs> so that's really freaky Hello, Woody, that's not helpful. I can't put these images in if you're going to sit on the book. I know you're a cuddle monkey, but I'm about to get up anyway and clean the house. Final page in. That is the last of this first family photo album. As you can see, there's really like not many pages. So I think the next ones I'll get, I think might be a bit more sleek, minimal. So I can just get more photos in there, especially with a baby coming. I think there's going to be a lot of photos. I'm going to go clean the house because we need a bit of a refresh today. And I'm also planning on sharing you mostly what I'm eating this week, being vegan and pregnant, just in case anyone's interested. Little disclaimer, number one, I am not a chef. I am far from, I am pretty lazy in the kitchen and I don't really enjoy eating. Uh, I enjoy eating. I don't really enjoy cooking. <laughs> So these meals are gonna be on the easier side, maybe not the tastiest meals in the world, but it's kind of just like ideas and what I do as a vegan. Also not always the healthiest, I won't lie, but we try and keep it balanced, so. Enough of the blabbing, I need to go and clean. <laughs> I have been absolutely rubbish at vlogging today. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just after I last spoke to you, I decided to go out um, and go swimming, like in the leisure centre with my friend. And then I was like, I actually don't have any swimming costumes, like one pieces that fit me well with my little bump. So I've only got like high waisted bikinis, which I'd just rather be a bit more covered up in a swimming pool. Went down to find one, found a decent one on sale in Tesco, which was actually really nice. And then obviously went to the pool, came back, had a bit of lunch and washed all the chlorine out of my hair. And then I've come straight out to walk Willow. Yeah, I mean, obviously at the pool, there's nothing I can film for you. So a bit difficult to keep you in touch. And then I said I'd share what I'm eating with you, but we ended up having a McDonald's uh, for lunch because time was kind of passing. I was out, Nate was busy working. So we didn't really have anything quick for lunch. Um, and I'm going to be making a nice healthy lasagna later with loads of veg. 
so it is what it is we got some plants um which you know what they look like so i don't need to show you <laughs> but yeah now we're just out a little walk we were just up by the golf course we've come into the woods now but willow was running with a dog called kutch which is like the welsh word for hug or cuddle we haven't seen kutch and his owner in ages like probably six months he was just like oh how are you doing how's the world treating you and i was just like really good i actually just found out that i'm pregnant like really recently and um he was like oh congratulations and i actually like met up with another dog walker a few weeks ago bumped into this guy and a dog called hetty a little poodly i forget what they're called and like he asked how things are so i told him and it's just so cute like having these random people that you kind of know from dog walks and like updating them and they don't really know you but they're so happy for you it's just so sweet um so yeah willow's had an amazing run already sprinting around with the greyhound kutch and so we're just getting some extra sniffs in the woods and we'll circle back around home and that's literally like all she needs she really does not need much so i am very grateful for that <laughs> in quite a while today. I just felt really knackered after swimming yesterday like it's such a full body workout. We were there for probably like 50 minutes and then also came back and walked Willow for an hour. Made some lasagna which isn't the quickest meal to make and then I ended up cleaning the downstairs of the house. I'm going to do the rest today but I think I just pushed it a little bit and I ended up Asking mate for a shoulder rub because there was just so much aches and tension, but I needed it. I feel great this morning, other than a sniffly nose. We're feeling really good. I'm just figuring out what to have for breakfast, and I think we're just going to do oats. I obviously had lasagna for dinner, but I didn't show you the portion. It was pretty small. It was really good. I think we're going to have that either for lunch or dinner later, so I'll show you the like, finished product then. But it was really good. I'm really impressed. It's only the second time I've made it and I really like it, so definitely going to be like practicing that. But yeah, like I said, on to some oats. So we really don't have much other option at the moment in the house. I am going to do some super smooth porridge. I actually really like this stuff. It's not only very convenient and easy and quick, but I just really like the smooth texture. Something really me about it to me like super smooth porridge mm -hmm. 45 grams two to five milk voila and in the microwave we go got myself some orange juice we are gonna add some chia seeds having a little banana on the side. I'm so ready. I've not had this in ages. I won't lie, I usually just pick up any kind of cereal and just have that because it's so quick and I love something cold and kind of fresh in the morning. But I also do love some good smooth porridge. <laughs> Full transparency. This is what I'm looking like right now. I've been cleaning the house, hence the hair. I've actually been loving the dark hair. I feel like back to me, like more naturally me. But yeah, so I've been cleaning 
So our babies are currently eating in case you can hear them in the background. And I did actually, before I started cleaning, sit with a cup of tea and biscuits. I'm gonna get the packet actually. Fellow vegans may know the struggle to find chocolate digestives. However, I don't know if they changed the ingredient, but my old pal Tesco came through. But these dark chocolate digestives are vegan. It doesn't say like suitable for vegans, but ingredients list wise, there's nothing I can see non-vegan. So they're in my tummy and they are delicious. My favorite biscuits ever. So I had two of those with a cup of tea. Didn't really show you. Oh, Woody, <laughs> come on baby boy. And I was actually sat watching Megan Grubb's birth story video. <sighs> And I just love watching these, like whether they have birth footage or not, I love it either way. It's just so interesting because every birth does pan out differently, it's not usually what you expect your birth to be. And yeah, it basically just makes me so excited to give birth. <laughs> Which for me, I, I mean if you've been following these videos you'd know, I literally grew up never wanting my own kids because I was too scared to give birth and like go through all that pain. And then obviously it's like been changing over the last five or so years, but now I'm pregnant, I'm so excited. I don't know if I'll say this when I'm like a couple weeks away, but right now, 15 weeks a day and I'm just so excited. I obviously know it's gonna be like the worst pain I've ever been in, but it's just gonna be the most crazy time. And to finally meet a little human that I've been growing in my belly for that long, I'm excited. This is what we are looking like. I don't know how well you can see in this lighting. We are definitely showing. I feel like in tight clothes you can see it. And I feel like maybe I am a bit of an early shower but I've also heard that shorter people tend to show a bit quicker. And I'm less than 5'3 so. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Can you come on your bed? Good girl. Shall I get Cece for you? She's so funny. Right, wait there then. Wait. Is she ready? Is she ready? Go ahead. Not on Woody. <laughs> what you got? lunch I'm having soup I would be having bread with this but we don't have any in the house and I am being lazy I can't be bothered to go and get some so we're just doing this it is the Heinz vegetable soup well he shouldn't be sat there darling can you get down that is yummy in about an hour I have a call with Fran from Little Lady Lifts She's an online coach and she's been doing it for like something mad like 15 years. I don't think it was online the whole time but she's been coaching women for that long and she is qualified in helping pregnant women or I think even like postnatal women. And I basically just came across the opportunity to work with her through like my content creation um, and be gifted her coaching service which is absolutely insane. So. It's kind of been in the works. Now that I'm 14 weeks, I've had my scans and we're really going well into the second trimester now. I am having my call again with her to catch up and basically get started on a program and yeah, I'm really excited. So that is in about an hour. I'll let you know how it goes. And I also have my mum popping around later, so I'm not sure when I'm gonna check in, but I'm very excited. <laughs> So dinner is ready. I actually also 
just did us some bowls of mango a minute ago, just before my mum came. Some potato bowl. Um, I'll have a bowl, please. But yeah, so this is the lasagna. It doesn't look <laughs> that appetizing, but I guess lasagna never does. Maybe I'll have some more afterwards, but this might be enough for me. Good morning for me in my cozy PJs. The second I woke up today, I was like, hmm, I really fancy Cheerios. <laughs> and, um, I was just sort of sorting Willow out and I went back to bed. And I said to Nate when I got back in bed, I was like, I'm not getting up until I've got Cheerios. I really want Cheerios, you know, just teasing him. Then woke up a little bit later, no Cheerios in sight, and like teased him again, and he just went straight out to get me Cheerios. So, this is breakfast today. I haven't had these in ages. Had my breakfast, changed into some comfies, not my pajamas. <laughs> um, and I forgot to update you on my call yesterday with Fran. I'm also just about to start packing up some of the stuff in my room. Whew, oh my gosh. Definitely a bit out of breath from walking up the stairs just then. <laughs> Most of you will know that we are on the edge of buying a house and moving house. It's literally around the corner, so it's gonna be the nicest move of all time. <laughs> I'm hoping that if I just start packing some bits away, maybe we're gonna get some movement because we're waiting to give the date now and then it's gonna be like a week or two hopefully at the most but yeah i'm just praying that if i just keep going the universe is gonna be like yes let's go <laughs> and yeah also just like need to clear this room out because my sister and her boyfriend are coming up for a week at the end of august and if we're not in the house they can just use this room but it needs to be a lot clearer than it is because i've got a massive wardrobe there a rail and a desk and i want to put up a double bed for them so they would kind of need to go down or at least move um, for that to happen. So we obviously need to do that anyway to move house. So I'm just gonna get working on it now, put some of the things away that I can deal with for however long. Also, my sister is about to call me in like 10 minutes. Just have a chat while I'm packing. But a little update with my coaching call with Fran. So it is Thursday today. And I'm going to be starting like a trial week next week just to kind of start implementing the things that we've been talking about, see how we get on and find our footing together and then we can go from there. But yeah, and I'm not going to be like tracking my food or anything because I don't have a goal with her to like lift X amount or like get really strong because I'm pregnant. I can't have those kinds of goals. My goal right now is just to stay healthy try and maintain some of my strength and keep my body strong and prepare it for labor which really excites me so yes i also don't know if i mentioned it but like the reason that i'm interested in doing this is because obviously like i've been training on and off for like five years although the last three have been very up and down i think the first two i was a boss in the gym <laughs> I know my stuff, I know how to progressively overload, I know about tracking calories, I I know quite a bit, or like enough that I'm happy to just do my own thing, but staying active while being pregnant and doing workouts is a whole new board game to me and like I was saying to her yesterday, since finding out that I'm pregnant I view my body completely differently and I feel so protective of it and I feel like it's very precious because I'm growing a human and I'm just scared to do something wrong, scared to push myself too hard. So she's just gonna help me with that, help me do certain things that will be great for labor. Yeah, I'm really excited um, and I will keep you posted. And yeah, and then like I said, my mum came over for like half an hour afterwards just for a cuppa and a quick chat. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna tackle these boxes. We've got a box of things that are already on Vinted and some bits to add to Vinted. I don't want to have to just take all this to the new house so I am going to put most of it in a charity bag. I only keep the best things that I think will sell. Also the bits that I'm thinking of adding to Vinted I'm just gonna like go through those and be a lot more strict as well. 
I am also listening to her while I wait for my sister to call. I've actually seen her live and she is absolutely insane. But I've gotten like more into her music since I saw her live. She was a run-up act for Childish Gambino. She's such a vibe and I think my favourite song is We Made It. But I love a lot. <laughs> so, let's get going. I need to also go and get a bag for the charity items. This whole bag is baby's bits. Oh my gosh, okay. join you from a ton of mess oh my gosh I've been sat here for for a few hours and this rail is now all like gym wear and clothes I want to keep out I am also sat with a bowl of fruit I'm not feeling very hungry for lunch so I've just got melon um, blueberries and grapes and I'm just gonna eat it slowly while I do this and I'm actually like packing away all of my gym wear and other clothing that I'm not selling but I also can wait to wear it for another month or so so yeah just getting the process going we also had our ikea delivery just now so the new bed is here and i'm just so excited i have just popped a little toasty on the grill i was just saying that i wasn't hungry at lunchtime like at all really so then i just kind of made myself eat the fruit because otherwise i've only had Cheerios. <laughs> so yeah, had all Cheerios, a bunch of fruit, and then now it's like 3 p.m. ish, and I'm ready for some lunch. And then Nate's going out for golf, so we're gonna end up having a late dinner. So I'm happy that we're having a bit of a late lunch to tie me over. I've just been sat editing for the past hour, getting the maternity trial video done, and voila, toasty is done. So I made this in a previous vlog. It's basically the beetroot falafel gosh balls with a bit of vegan cheese spread is that's what it's called I don't know why I can't remember <laughs> and normal vegan cheese as well I usually pop some lettuce in it but we are fresh out of salad slash out of lettuce so it is what it is I think the last time I filmed was maybe two hours ago three hours ago I'm not sure but I have finally finished <laughs> finished doing everything so this room is nice and clear now I've got all of my clothes here for the next month or however long is going to be till we move so all of my gym wear items that obviously I want for the gym and for my content creation yeah. yes I'm just about to take you out lady and then back here is all of my casual wear and obviously like this is the weather we're dealing with at the moment. It's really cloudy and still warm, like, but then it still rains. It's just so hard to predict. So I've got quite a mixture of like summery dresses, longer dresses, shirts and jumpers, little tops. So try to keep it minimal, but like still kind of cover everything. And then this wardrobe is now completely empty. These are just a couple of bits from my sister. And then in here I literally just have underwear, pyjamas, swimwear and little shorts, things that I can't really hang up. Like that is all sorted, there's nothing out on the floor. And all in here is clothes that are packed away. So I'm not going to like touch any of that. So yeah, it's all done, which is a nice relief. So now we can just take this wardrobe down whenever really. Um... And they could like literally come up tomorrow and I'd be ready for it. Whereas before I wouldn't have been. <laughs> Slash we could move. That's that's the more important thing I want to focus on. I could move and it would be fine. And yeah, like YouTube videos done. That's gone live. So I'm just going to go and take Little Willow out for a walk. Because she is, she knows it's time basically. So yeah. For dinner, I am just going to have this little fish cake some mash and veggies um i don't know if i've had this one before it was just from the frozen section in tesco plant chef range it smells really really nice so 
I am very much looking forward to this. Hiya, um, I just had a letter come through saying that I had an appointment today, but I don't know why the letters come through so late and I had no idea that I had an appointment coming up. Are you? Yes, I am just over 15 weeks. Ah, oh, right, okay. So 18th of August. At 9.20. Okay, thank you. Take care, bye, bye, Thanks, bye. bye. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so warm. It's currently about 1pm. I can't really remember where I left yesterday off, but we ended up having mashed potato veggies and like a creamy fish cake thing, which was really nice. But afterwards, like I was fine all day. I think at this point my gums started to get sore, but like by the evening, my back gum here, where my wisdom tooth is coming through, had gotten like really swollen and just sore and just not very nice. And I could kind of feel my gland underneath in my neck starting to also get a bit swollen and sore, but nothing crazy. Like nothing really for swollen gums. There's obviously like toothache gel and stuff, but it's not my teeth, so we didn't really know. And also I think benzocaine is the main ingredient within the few things that we've seen and there's definitely like mixed reviews of that online if it's safe for pregnancy like some are just saying like it's considered relatively safe others are saying like there's not really that much data on it so don't use it unless you really have to it's used in like children's teething medications but you're not supposed to give it to them if they're under five months old so to me the signs say don't do it <laughs> So I ended up just like making a little paste with turmeric because that's obviously an incredibly natural ingredient. It's like an anti-inflammatory anti -inflammatory powerhouse. So I like rubbed that on my gum. I still have a bit of a yellow nail from it because it's so staining, but that did nothing. And then before I went to bed, I did like a salt water wash because that's always great for like disinfecting. But in the night, oh god it was not fun I did wake up a few times and it definitely just felt a lot worse it was way more swollen and the back of my tongue next to the gums also felt a bit inflamed and sore and then again like down in my throat definitely affected my sleep so I had a bit of a lion today and I do feel a bit better no now I feel a lot better this morning it was like a little bit better managed to get some breakfast down me and I've just kind of been resting and it's definitely improving so I'm hoping that it's just going to sort itself out. So yeah, Nate made me breakfast which I had avocado and sausage roll with mushrooms on the side which was really nice. Have I had anything else? <laughs> no. But yeah, it's like lunchtime now so I'm a bit peckish. But we're going to have an early dinner. And Nate doesn't want anything for lunch because he had like quite a large breakfast. So I think I'm just going to have some Cheerios. <laughs> something super easy and fresh. Like I'm really warm. I think I need something cold. And also there's some more melon. So we'll probably have that today. But other than that, I'm going to end this vlog. That's pretty much like how I eat in a week. It does vary a lot. Like some weeks are more junky than others. Like we've actually had McDonald's like twice this week, which is... I hate doing that, like I'll have it once every now and then, every few weeks, or like once a month, <laughs> let alone twice in a week, so we balance it out overall. Willow is now roaching on the rug, is that nice? She loves rolling on this, I think because it's like a little bit abrasive, it itches her really nicely. <laughs> is that nice? You a monster? You a monster? <laughs> <laughs> little outfit of the day before I end this vlog I am just wearing my little play suit from Ride Aware of course it's the halter neck style and in this lovely brown colour these are so comfy and there's so much room for my belly I don't feel very like round today it's obviously still there but it just feels a bit smaller I don't know I'm sure that happens from day to day though the one thing I would change about these little play suits is the length of the shorts. I find they just are super short, but other than that, they're so comfy and I can see myself wearing this a lot in my pregnancy. But yeah, I am going to end this video because I need to edit it. 
um, and go grab some Cheerios. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for being here on my little pregnancy journey. Um, and yeah, I will see you very soon.